Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, first and foremost, Happy New Year to all. I hope you've been able to disconnect and enjoy your loved ones. Here we are, starting trading season 2024. Looking forward to it. On today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about how I plan to improve my trading in 2024. Let's get right into it. Every year, when I reflect on my trading, my initial thought is I definitely can do better. It doesn't matter what my returns might be. There is always room for improvement. In order to improve, I have to do an honest assessment of my weaknesses and my strengths. The nature of trading is that no matter how good you are, you will still have a substantial number of losing trades. If you don't have quite a few bad trades, then it is very likely that you are not trying hard enough and not taking enough risk. The key is to be aggressive enough and take on enough risk so that you can produce superior gains, but not so aggressively that a bad trade will have a disproportionately negative impact. There are four areas of my trading that I will be working to improve. So the first one is trading style. My area of expertise is stock picking and active trading of smaller stocks. These stocks have higher levels of risk due to their volatility, but offer exceptional returns if you pick the right ones. In 2023, this was not a great approach to the market. What worked best in 2023 was buying the Magnificent Seven names and doing nothing further. If that is all you did, then you beat all the indexes and the vast majority of active funds. Perhaps that will be the winning strategy again in 2024, but I do suspect that it won't be that simple. However, it does illustrate the first thing I need to adjust in my trading, which is to be more open to trading bigger capitalization stocks, even when they have low betas and appear to be stodgy or overpriced. Too often, I will ignore big cap names because they seem to be overowned and overloved. But that doesn't mean that they can't still run like a penny stock in the right market conditions. I am hopeful that in 2024, small caps and more speculative sectors like biotechnology will catch up to the senior indexes, but we will have to wait and see how the price action develops. Finding the right opportunities. Having a more flexible trading style goes hand in hand with being more creative in looking for trading opportunities. I want to work more on taking advantage of stocks with a sharp surge in volatility. This will require shorter timeframes, but it eliminates broad market risk. I plan on focusing not just on the strongest stocks, but also on the strongest stocks in the best sectors and with the best themes. As we saw in 2023, the hot money will gravitate toward a theme like AI and drive it for much longer than seems reasonable. The third area that I'm going to work on is trade structure. Ever since I started trading, one of my resolutions has been to trade bigger. It's not easy to do because it means taking on more risk, and that is always uncomfortable. However, one common piece of advice from the best traders in history is to be aggressive and go big when you have a trade that is working. Far too often, we hold on to stocks that aren't working and let losses build, but are driven to take a quick gain when a trade works and then end up with a small position as a stock continues to run. I tend to use a methodology of multiple buys and sells when I trade a stock. I almost never make a single buy and sell, but try to manage risk by changing position size as a trade develops. I'll be working on enhancing that strategy to make sure when I have a winner, I maximize gains. And when I have a loser, I will cut that quickly and always have a stop loss and profit stop in position. And the last area where all traders, including myself, must consistently work on is discipline. No matter how good your planning or intentions might be, 
If you don't have discipline, you are not likely to do well. All traders tend to make the same mistakes over and over again. We know what we should do, but actually doing it is extremely difficult. The best way to deal with the problem is self-awareness. We have to call ourselves to account when discipline breaks down and try to understand why we're allowing it to happen. There are many other areas that I will be working on in my trading and I'll be discussing them throughout the year. Well, folks, I hope you will all join me in making 2024 the best year ever. Happy New Year to all. I hope you stay safe out there. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I hope to see you all on the next one. Take care.